Five teenagers charged in the murder of 17-year-old East Kentwood High School student James King were in court today to hear their sentence. The murder happened in January of this year after the five planned to meet up with King in order to buy marijuana. 13 on your side's Nina DeSaro was in the courtroom. She joins us now with the details of their sentences. Nina. All five teens were lined up on the wall next to their attorneys as family and friends of James King read victim impact statements. King was shot and killed in the parking lot of the town and country shopping center at Kalamazoo Avenue and 44th Street Southeast. Ahmed Hassan, Caleb Sims, Alana Claflin, Israel Valdez and Sebastian Quinones were in Hassan's car. Court documents indicate that Valdez and Claflin set up the marijuana drug deal with King on social media with the intent to rob him of the drugs. When Valdez tried to steal the weed from King, a fight ensued before Valdez shot King in the face, killing him. After this whole court session, y'all gonna go back and y'all gonna talk to your parents on the phone about how the whole thing went and how y'all felt. We can't talk to James and that was on behalf of all y'all. That's not fair. So I hope for the rest of y'all life, y'all live it miserably. Because it was unfair for y'all to take James King away from us. Israel Valdez, the gunman, was sentenced to 23 to 50 years in prison for second degree murder. Sebastian Quinones will serve 15 to 40 years for armed robbery. Alana Claflin got 10 to 40 years for armed robbery. And both Caleb Sims and Ahmed Hassan will finish out a one year sentence in the Kent County Jail, followed by five years of probation. The judge warned Hassan and Sims that if they violate their probation, they'll end up in prison. If you step one inch outside the line, you're going to go to the Department of Corrections and you'll serve 10 or more years along with the rest of them. So you remember that when you're walking out there in society, you're not like everyone else. Right beside you is the prison door. It's that far away. And all you got to do is screw up once and break the law and I'll give you a one way ticket there. And that's my promise today. The family believes Sims, the driver of the car, deserved a harsher term. However, all five of the defendants entered into plea deals rather than going to trial. All but one of the five who were sentenced addressed King's family by apologizing for their role in the robbery and murder and agreeing to take the opportunity behind bars to change their ways. Nick.